Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to talk about your favorite phone. I know the corner has been missing for some time, but this is the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So, you know, this video is all about why, you know, the phone is sexy just like me, you know? I'm a very sexy guy, you know, Cornel. I have a very nice hat, you know? This phone has nice curves. I have good glasses, you know? I have a very fantastic smile, and I have the S Pen in the, uh, you know, Galaxy Note 10 Plus. You know, it's, it's just professional. It looks like me, I'm a, I'm a professional myself, you know? And uh, anyway, but work is coming, I gotta run, bye. Okay, okay, Colonel, right? We'll get your video soon, so just relax, okay? Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to my video where I'm talking about the Note 10 Plus. Yeah, he's right, we're talking about that. I'm talking about why I keep using the device to this very point. And you're wondering why, the S20 Ultra is out, there's a Plus, all that stuff. And those are great devices, but this is specifically for me. And if you're wondering, and why maybe you should pick it up too. So the Note 10 Plus is such a great device. Design-wise, aesthetically, it's beautiful. That aura glow, whew, the fact that it just changes colors with the way light like, it bounces off it is really nice. Uh, the fit for me is great. It's a large phone, I like big phones, they fit well in my hand and I like the ergonomic nature. It kind of reminds me, sadly, in, but in a good way for me, the, the Note 7. The Note 7 was a greatly designed device. I'm not talking about all the other issue, but the design was beautiful. And it kind of reminds me of that. So you've got a device with a lovely display. Again, Samsung makes great displays. A punch hole camera, which um, a lot of people um, have gravitated to. My buddy Super Saf has made some really um, interesting, you know, designs and memes and things like that off them. But speaking of Saf though, why don't we hear from him quickly what he thinks about this device? Hi guys, this is Super Saf and the great Colonel has asked me to tell you why I love the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus and also why I love and respect Colonel Singala so, so much. He has also asked me to clarify that I'm not being forced in any way whatsoever to say everything that I'm saying in this video. The things that I love about the Note 10 Plus, firstly, is this amazing display, so I can have wallpapers of the kernel at all times. What kind of a script? Okay, fine, fine, fine. I also love the cameras, so I can take lots of great pictures of the kernel. And most of all, I love the S Pen, so I can sign off lots of checks to support Kernel Singala. And I strongly feel that you should do the same too. All hail, Colonel Singala. Can I, can I go now? Yeah, he's right. There are a lot of great things about this device that I do like. Design-wise, it's been great. Performance is something that really just comes to play. It packs in the best that we had from last year. The 855, I didn't have the Plus though, but 855, uh, 12 gigs of RAM, all that fun stuff in there and a 4,500 milliamp battery, and performance was great, great. That's what I liked about this device, is that you got great performance then and now. So even to this very point, no slowdowns, no hiccups, nothing. Uh, and when you talk about one of the things I do a lot on a smartphone, I game quite a bit. And using the processor from last year and trying to push as much with graphics, uh, you think I want to jump to a newer device, and it's true, but I use this on a daily basis, and it's been great. Playing PUBG at the max settings, playing that extensively for quite a bit of time, or Call of Duty Mobile, there's no faltering, there's no slowdowns. You get a very smooth gaming experience, and one that people will enjoy. Plus, the audio from it is really good. Like, take a quick listen just from like gaming audio and, and here. It's a very just robust system for those kind of things you want to do. And again, it's loud. Uh, the speakers, uh, 104 decibels, clear and clean. Now, one of the bigger things on the Galaxy Note is the S Pen. Uh, it's been one of the most defining features for years and no smartphone has that feature to that capability at all. Others have tried, doesn't matter. But the S Pen tucks into your device neatly. You bring it out, you can use it, and it's really good. 
I like the fact that I can just jot down notes and also I can sign like NDAs. You guys have no idea. We get a lot of early access uh, into new devices and you have to sign ND NDAs so you don't leak things early or you know tell people randomly about new devices. So the normal process would be I get an email, I get an NDA, I print it out, I sign it, then I scan it, then I email it back. So that's like five steps. With this, I get an email on my phone, I look at it, I click on it, it opens up with a PDF, I sign, save, send, right there on the device. That is what I like, and that makes my own day-to-day -day process super easy and super smooth. Like, it's, it's insane how easy that process is. So I really like that, and I truly appreciate that this is the only device, device that can do that. Now, my other buddy, Flossie Carter, also has something to say about this device, and I wanted to just chime in quickly about why he still uses the Note 10 Plus. Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video, and I'm making this one real quick to answer two questions from the Colonel. Number one, do I still use my Galaxy Note 10 Plus? And the answer is yes. I use it every day. This is my second favorite Android phone behind the Galaxy Fold. Question number two, what's my favorite feature of the Galaxy Note 10 Plus? Easy, using the Bluetooth S Pen to WAP YouTube videos. Yes, you heard that right. Not watch YouTube videos, WAP YouTube videos. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So we got a fresh Star Wars edition Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Let's go ahead and open this up. We're gonna take it over to YouTube. Okay, now say I'm watching some board at work and I wanna check out the latest gaming phones. Pull out the Bluetooth S Pen. Let's hit play. So imagine if you have a budget, now watch this. Right? And that budget says, let's wop some YouTube videos. $300. Wop. Right, we just I already seen this video. Wop. Oh, I seen this one too. Wop. Hold up, I'm getting a phone call. Let me press pause. Bomb. Let me unpause it. Bomb. Let's take it to the next video. What? Hey guys, Thunder E here, and we're the Bluetooth S Pen is the best feature on any phone out right now. So yes, ahead now back again quickly. The camera is sexy. Take some sexy pictures. I look fantastic with the bokeh in the front facing, and also you know my skin tone looks very fresh. And you know I'm just trying to get endorsements in this video from you know maybe Samsung or somebody else. But uh, okay, but the work is coming back. I have to run again. Bye. Oh, okay, okay, Colonel, seriously, we'll get your video. You don't have to butt in, but yes, he does have a point. The camera is actually really good on this device. Yes, it's last year's camera, uh, but the front-facing camera is good, and granted, you'll see your photos of mostly him, uh, you still get a really solid camera, front and rear. The rear camera does a really good job, 4K 60, photos daytime are good, nighttime photography is good, not as good as the S20 Ultra or the S20 uh, uh, plus but that's where of course we will hope to see improvement as we move forward with devices like the Note 20 Ultra which we'll get to in a second but the camera functionality is great and that's something a lot of people like and the fact that you can get a device from last year at a cheaper price with solid camera performance all those things it's truly amazing now speaking of the Note 20 Ultra I'm excited because there are a lot of things that I can't wait to see on this. We've seen the leaks that get Samsung released the device, uh, at least on their website from Russia, and so we know how it looks. New camera array, it looks like it's adopting some of the cameras from the, the S, S20 line. Uh, whether it's the 108, whether it's the new 50 megapixel sensor, I don't know. But I do uh, know that Samsung will fix those auto-focusing issues that they initially had with the S20, Twin 20 line, the Ultra line. And we know that the low light photography is going to improve. We've seen some new sensors, um, that isocell sensors that should give us better low light capture as well. So those things are great. And hopefully we get uh, to see uh, better video overall because I still think that the Galaxy Note line has probably one of the best videos for a, an Android device. Hopefully it can be Apple devices which currently lead the pack. But I think overall, when you look at the Note 10 Plus and everything it brings to the table, this is one really solid device. I think overall, Samsung has created something that has lasted that perennial just one year box 
uh, and something that even if you bought later on this year or even next year, you will find that it performed really well and covered all the tasks that you wanted to. Now, it may, it may be behind, yes, the Note 20 Plus and Ultra, which will be coming out in just a couple of months or actually a month, um, but it's a device that I think you will find a lot of value. I do, and for me, it helps me work, it helps me play, um, and it also helps me capture fun and goofy moments with the kernel. So if you guys have any questions, any comments about the Note 10 Plus, or you wanna pick one up, use the link down below. Otherwise guys, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment. <laughs> yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and all the corner interjection. I have to sneak myself inside there. And of course, don't worry, uh, super soft. And uh, you know, he was just joking. He was joking, he was joking. Uh, Flossy, they are doing all right. So <laughs> remember, Singala time, Sezi time. Yeah.